leaving Guadeloupe and we're going to cross the Caribbean Sea. We are departing from uh, Dachaise, just in the northern tip, and we've got a good weather report for most of the way. It's going to be a bit of a rough start, I think. There's a bit of strong winds the first 24 hours, and then it's going to be a bit nicer, hopefully. We're expecting about 24 knots, gusting to 28 most of the evening, and about the night. Three, 3 meter kind of seas but you never know what you'll get really. We're in the lee of the island, so hope for the best and then the weather improves. And we've got 1200 miles yeah. to uh, Panama. To Panama, yeah, straight to Colón. Hoping it takes us about seven days-ish. So we've got the hydrovane on, good to go. It's got a new little jacket on. Bright and red. We've got the pole already out on our starboard side. Yeah, and we've got the new lee clot set up downstairs. So we're going to use that for this passage, since it's just the two of us. Yeah, so we're just going to lift the anchor, say goodbye to our friends on Ramsalt just over okay. there. Wave them goodbye. And off we go. Bumpy. We are on second reef on the main and we've got the jib and just on a kind of we're just on a deep jive at the moment doing about 140 apparent. So the wind's quite strong and later this evening we'll uh, put the jib out on the pole once we're a bit settled to pick up our speed. Bit wild? Yeah, it's a bit hectic at the moment, but I guess the channel here between, you know, top of Guadeloupe and Antigua is probably affecting the sea state a bit. Yeah, it's really choppy. Hoping it will calm down, or we'll get not calm down, but it'll probably clean up a bit once we get further up. The wind direction should come a little bit around to our stern. So the wind's gusting a bit, so we're on the uh, autopilot at the moment, and about an hour or so we'll switch over to the vane, sitting there ready to go. Seasick yet? No, I'm all good. Watch this a big wave. We're pretty stoked that we've set the pole up while we're in port in the flat water. So tonight when we uh, go wing on wing, it's already there ready for us and we don't have to don't have to go out on deck. We also don't have to reef. We're just on second reef and I think we'll stay that most of the trip. We are flying. How fast are we going? Eight. Eight knots. Be in Panama in two days. I hope not. Big squall out here, it's covering the whole of Guadeloupe. We're just watching the squalls on the radar here to see if they're going to hit us or not. We've got about 25 knots of wind now, gusting a bit higher. It's windy. We are flying.
Got the jib out on the pole now, just to give us a bit better angle. So we've got the wind almost dead behind. It's a bit more stable like this. about four o'clock in the afternoon on the first day. Uh, we're about 45 uh, miles from Dachez in Guadeloupe. Uh, had a few squalls come through, but uh, we're cruising pretty good now. We've got uh, about 22 knots of wind, gusts a little bit higher, and we're still just on the jib on the pole and the hydrovane is doing most of the work. The uh, sea's building a little bit, but it's not too bad. I think we'll have some strong winds coming into tonight. can't really see the squalls but you can see the horizon going really grey out the back there. So I guess we would check the radar and there's probably a few coming just on sunset. we just got a big squall, squall about to hit us. We're getting winds up to 35 knots now. You can see it's getting quite dark at the horizon there. And we're just going to hand steer through it towards the big wave.
so the squall's just past us, kind of came straight over us and it's kind of heading further south now. How did it go? It got a bit windy. We had about 35. 35 at the worst. It's dying a bit now, we've only got about 20 now. But I'm glad we uh, switched to a jibe for that. It would have been a bit hard to deal with, uh, like wing on wing on the pole. So end of the first day, and it's been a pretty rough start. We've had squalls after squall after squall. We just had one, a massive one, that we were just like following kind of on the back edge of for like an hour. And we've had gusts up to 35, probably a bit more actually. So we've just been reefed, really reefed, hand stared. We had it on the wind for a bit, but we took it out for um, some parts of it. Just to get through the squall because we yeah. needed to go on a bit of a jib and yeah, you just couldn't see anything so we were a bit worried of rounding up. But we're getting into the evening now, it's just getting dark and it's supposed to be at the windiest at midnight. So we are prepared for a pretty what could be a hectic night. The vein is doing a great job. It's quite lumpy sea state because of what was left over from the squalls. But the vane's managing much better than us steering by hand. Hopefully there's no more squalls out there. Oop. What do you think about crossing the Caribbean Sea? Not a good start. I don't have the best impression yet. Ask me in a few days. The new red lights are working good. Hey. Oi. <laughs> Strip <laughs> club. <laughs> the jib is reefed on the pole. And we decided to stay on second reef on the main. Nine knots. We're on day two of our Caribbean sea crossing. It's about 11 o'clock now. We had a pretty uh, windy night. We, the winds were around 23, 24 knot, gusting to 28. And other than that, it went pretty well, considering how strong the winds were. Right now we've got about, let me see, like 18 knots of wind. We've slowed down a bit compared to last night but we're still making around seven knots
It is the end of the second day. We're about, what are we, about 230, 230 miles from Guadalupe. It's about 4.30, 5pm. Yeah, we have probably an hour left till the sun sets. So we're just going to set up the sails for the night, get a bit more comfortable. We've been using, uh, we've had the full Genoa out on the pole and running second reef on the main with the jib in the slot just with the full three sails running because the winds are rather light about 11 knots apparent mm. so about 17 knots true um, but yeah we're going to switch it back to the jib for the night just the jib and the main wing on wing just a bit easier to work with if it gets squally in the evening hopefully we can get a good night's sleep it seems a lot calmer than last night yeah. the skies are pretty clear and See, it's a little bit, it's a lot smaller, a little yeah. bit bumpy still, but much better, better than last night. So we'll just stay on the hydrobane and try and get heaps of sleep and try and make our way towards our first waypoint, the corner of Columbia. Ready? Yeah. Perfect. Jib out for the night on the pole. How fast are we going? Six and a half, seven. Seven knots. Whew. Should be a much more balanced setup for the night. And with the flat jib, we get a bit more option to go more upwind if it gets strong. And it's just a little bit easier for the vane to steer at night. What the fuck? Oh my god! Whale what? just surfaced right next to the boat. Wow. Oh my god, Did you see his back? Yeah. There he is. Right there. We uh, just had a little whale right behind the quarter of the boat. Just maybe like two meters sitting below the hydro vein, just there, just popped up and then took off it out there. It was pretty scary. So it's the third morning crossing the Caribbean Sea. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning. It's been a pretty calm night. A little bit rolly, sea state's building, but unfortunately the wind is dropping. We've only got about eight, eight knots apparent wind, so it's a bit of a struggle to keep going. Hopefully it picks up to about 15 today and and uh, yeah we can pick up a bit of speed just to keep the boat a bit more stable. 
Uh, we need to be doing about six, six and a half knots to kind of keep our um, weather outing up to date so we can get around the corner in good time and avoid the strong weather. So we're just going to continue with the uh, second reef main and the jib for a while. We'll probably bring out the Genoa and run the three sails again to pick up a bit of speed and maybe head a little bit, a little bit north just to bring up our apparent wind a bit and get moving. So we just uh, dived, we've had the wind cha changed a bit more to the east, we had it more from the north when we left Guadalupe. So yeah, we've uh, we jived and put the pole out now on the port side of the boat and we are actually pretty straight on our course that we want to be. Hopefully we don't have to dive again and we can stay all the way to Panama on this jive. So we got the waves a bit more from dead behind now so we're surfing nice nicely down them a little bit short period and they're quite a little bit steep so it's a bit rolly and uncomfortable but we're on our course so making good ground <laughs> 